I'm John. Boop. Microphone's not close enough. Hi, I'm John with Code VA, and this is a quick tutorial on if else blocks. Uh, this is a conditional control structure is helping the computer make automated decisions. So uh, let's jump right in. I've got my simulator up here, uh, and uh, we're gonna make it happen. So we got forever loop, and what I'm gonna do is have the computer choose between two options. I'll have it show the heart, or I'll have it show the small heart. Those will be my two options. Now, the way it's working right here is I have a nice little animation. The computer's just switching between them. Um, with an if else block, what I can do is have the computer choose one of those blocks to show instead of both. Right now, the computer's just going to show the big heart because it's seeing a value of true. Um, but if I put uh, another value in here, um, if I put a relational expression in here, I can have the computer choose uh, one of these commands instead of just the first command based on the value of a variable or the state of a sensor or whatever. So uh, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do this with um, if button A is pressed. If button A is pressed, then the computer is gonna choose this first block and show the big heart. If button A isn't pressed, then it'll do this part. So an if else block um, gives the computer two options to choose between. And if the expression up at the top is true, it'll do the first option. And if the expression uh, at the top is false, it'll do the second option. One of two options. Now, because I'm not pressing the A button over here, the micro bit is choosing the second command, choosing the, the else part of the if else statement. If I hold down the A button though, the micro bit chooses the first part because uh, the micro bit sees that relational uh, expression at the top, this like A is pressed, it sees that value is true. So that's uh, the if else block. Uh, this is a fundamental building block of uh, so many things to build with your micro bit. Uh, so definitely look around for some of the, those hexagonal uh, true false blocks. See if you can get creative with if else blocks. See what else you see what you see what you can make. If you have questions or you run into problems, get in the comments of the video. We would love to help. Uh, otherwise, good luck and happy coding.